Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr. In this section, we will be discussing compound interest. The topics we will cover are, we will identify interest rate per compounding period and number of compounding periods. We will use the formula m is equal to p times 1 plus i to the n to find the compound amount. We will use the table to find the compound amount. Now let's define compound interest and compound amount. Compound interest is interest calculated on previously credited interest in addition to the original principal. The compound amount is the final amount on deposit at the end of the year. Compound interest is compounded at different rates for different compounding periods and has different numbers of compounding periods. So let's look at the interest rate per compounding period and the number of compounding periods. If interest is compounded semi-annually, interest is compounded at the end of every six months, and the number of compounding periods in one year is two. If interest is compounded quarterly, then interest is compounded at the end of every three months, and the number of compounding periods in one year is four. If interest is compounded monthly, then interest is compounded at the end of every one month, and the number of compounding periods in one year is 12. And if interest is compounded daily, then interest is compounded at the end of every day, and there's 365 compounded periods in one year, but leap year has 366 compounding periods. Now let's use the formula to compute compound interest and compound amount. The formula says that the maturity value, which is M, is the principal times 1 plus i to the n, and the interest equals to the maturity value minus the principal. M is the maturity value, n is the number of compounding periods per year, p is your principal, your initial investment, and the small i is the interest rate per compounding period. Now let's use this formula in order to do an exercise. Let's find $14,800 at 6% compounded semi-annually for four years. So the maturity value is equal to P times 1 plus I to the N. If we have 6% compounded semi-annually for four years, then I is the interest rate per period, which is 6% divided by 2. And N will be the total number of compounding periods. So for four years, semi-annually is twice a year, so N is four times two. So your maturity value will be 14,800 times one plus 0 0.06 over two raised to the four times two power. And of course, this is $14,800 times 1 plus 03 raised to the 8th power, which is $18,748.20. The interest here is the difference between the maturity value and the principal. $18,748.20 subtract $14,800. So the interest earned here is $3,948.20. Now let's use the table to find compound interest and the compound amount. We want to use the table to find the compound amount of $82,000 is compounded semi-annually at 8% for four years. Let's take a look at the table. What we have here in the table, although you cannot read this, it gives the compound amount for N equals one through 50 periods, and for I, interest rates from 1% to 12%. So we are going to look in the table and locate our I and N. So let's identify I and N. 
I, the interest rate for period here, will be 8% compounded semi-annually, that's divided by 2, will be 4%, and the number of compounding periods will be 4 years times twice each year is 8 compounding periods. Now we're going to use the table to find our factor for 8% compounded semi-annually for 4 years, in which I is 4%. I goes from 1% to 12%, so we go across the top until we locate 4%, and then we read down the column, our N is 8, the N's go from 1 to 50, our N is 8, so we're going to locate this factor here, and this factor is 1.36857. So our compound amount is going to be $82,000 multiplied times 1.36857, which is $112,222.74. That's a compound amount. So the interest then would be the difference, $112,222.74 subtract the $82,000, which gives us an interest of $30,222.74. Now let's do another compound interest problem. Vicki Ewing deposits her savings of $2,800 in an account paying 6% compounded quarterly, and she leaves it there for nine years. Find the compound amount and the interest. We will use the table, and in using the table, the interest rate per period will be 6% divided by 4, because it's compounded quarterly. 6% divided by 4 is 1.5%, and in the number of periods will be 9 years times 4 periods each year, which is 36 periods. Look in your table under the column headed 1.5%, look across the row in which n is equal to 36, and you will find the compound factor such that the compound amount is $2,800 multiplied times this compounding factor 1.70914. So the compound amount is $4,785.59. The interest here is the difference between the compound amount and the principal. So she earned interest in the amount of $1,985.59. In this section, we discussed compound interest. Businesses and individuals use compound interest on a regular basis. You need to practice using your table and using your formula. So it's time for you now to go and practice some problems.